All right, welcome everyone to uh, another tutorial on the GIMP. I'm going to teach you how to take an eye and change the eye color with some different effects, some different things. Um, start by going to open and find the picture that you want. Mine's going to be this one. Okay, first thing to do, grab your elliptical tool, use left click, drag these little corners, if you highlight them, you can stretch the eye. Don't worry if you don't go far enough, we can fix that later. Now hold the control key, that'll allow you to create another selection and what that's doing is subtracting the pupil and only grabbing this hit enter now go to edit copy edit paste now notice it has a floating selection this means that there's something that's been pasted there but isn't its own layer yet so go ahead and hit new layer and we'll actually put that layer on there turn that one off and you can see what you're dealing with um, now we're gonna learn a special technique about alpha selection and that only works on transparency layers and notice the checkerboard means it's transparent what an alpha selection is, is when you use an alpha selection, it will only ignore the uh, transparencies and select the solid objects. Uh, I'll show you what it's going to happen when I don't um, use the uh, alpha selection. Select a gradient, I keep it at the full saturation spectrum, go to shape, go to spectrum spiral clockwise oh see it's kinda crazy it doesn't really work it's not gonna help any so go to right click on that layer and alpha to selection and notice it highlights it now if you do this it fills in your selected go to mode go to overlay Turn on the original eye, and it's going to overlay those two uh, modes together. Those two layers, I should say, not modes. And that's how you change the eye one way. It's kind of cool. So let's go back to our beginning, and we'll do another one. Let's just go to our uh, floating selection. It's been a new layer. It's the original. You know what? Nope, I want to teach you something else. Let's go to here. Okay, I'm going to show you about quick mask. Little button right here. Turn it on. You can see what's in red doesn't mean it's selected. Anything that's in color that looks original is what's being selected. Make sure this is to black. And you can cover it up. So now if you exit out notice your selection actually let's mess with that that's gonna be kinda cool go to image I mean edit copy and the reason why the quick mask is because if you have an eyelid that comes down here you can only highlight the eyelid so you can only get the iris it's a really nifty way to select things okay so edit copy Edit paste, shove it down to a new layer, alpha to selection, tools, go to colorize, slide the bars around to what you want, control shift A gets rid of the selection, and there you go. It's a pretty cool way of doing things, colors the eye. Um, 
Let me go back to the original right here. Just notice the layers missing because I went back in history. I'll just do a control copy, control paste with the hotkeys. Now if we go to tools. Nope, colors, sorry I lied. Colorize. Granted it colors that selection. Um, and it works. Now the difference why we didn't have to use an alpha selection is because it's literally coloring everything that's a solid object on the layer. And notice, oh, that's not what I wanted. And notice, the only solid object is that. And it's not going to colorize any transparency because there's nothing there to colorize. But when you use a gradient, it's going to fill, gradients fill selections, not objects on the layers. And colorize fills objects on the layers, and this is the object, the eye. But notice these little pattern right here of the square, that's what's selected, so when you throw in a gradient, it will color that. Um, now if you did a mode, blending mode, let's try an overlay. It looks pretty cool, it looks pretty realistic. You want to con control Z twice or three times to get back to the original. And try one more thing. Colors, map, rotate colors. This one's a little bit more difficult to use. You can see how it's changed right here. Very slight color change. But, uh, pretty cool. Anyways, that's how alpha selections work. I'll explain more. I'll actually go into my own tutorial of how it works. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. And, um, anyways, have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.